Warzone 2.0 is less than two weeks away from being released and a highly anticipated co-op mode DMZ has had hardly any official news on it besides the obvious inspiration taken from Escape from Tarkov. We don't know at least officially a lot about this mode so for the people who don't know much about DMZ it's basically a PvE style mode with both bots and other players where you need to complete certain objectives before heading to an exfiltration point. While a lot of people watching this might think this mode sounds pretty boring, I wouldn't write this mode off because if executed correctly this could be more popular than Warzone's Battle Royale mode and this might start the new trend from Battle Royales to extraction based looter shooters. So with all of that out of the way, here are 10 things that you can expect from DMZ. Quick disclaimer, a lot of this information we have so far as mentioned is not official and while a lot of leaks will be pretty accurate, we can never tell for sure if all this stuff will make it to the final game. So the first piece of exciting news that we have about the DMZ mode is that it will be played on the new Warzone 2 map El Mazra, which as we know is a much larger scale than Verdansk. And this is likely in preparation for the new game mode anyway, as we know that DMZ will make a better use of a much larger map. Objectives take up the full map rather than only certain areas. And looting is also a very big focus of DMZ. So this lends itself quite well to the new game mode. Speaking of El Mazra, the second bit of information we have insight into is that the map will have massive underground tunnels running throughout the entire map. So think of it like bunkers we have in the current war zone, but on steroids, creating more interest in gameplay. Of course, this isn't exclusive to the DMZ, as it will be featured in the Battle Royale game mode as well, but I'm sure that this will create a lot of interest and objectives. Before we continue with the rest of the video, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel as we will be covering everything about DMZ when the game releases that includes guides, tips and tricks, and news. So remember to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. Back to the video. Leaks suggest that the DMZ will follow a storyline which spans off of the Modern Warfare 2 campaign which everyone has widely agreed is a solid story covering the British SAS forces as they team up with other countries military members to locate a terrorist. Another feature that we can expect from the DMZ is a massive marketplace where players will be able to buy and sell loot that you collect throughout the game and this will make Warzone's looting system a lot more interesting and this is typically what happens in extraction based shooters so we can almost assume that this will make it into Warzone 2. So following on from that, something which has been rumoured to be part of the DMZ mode based off of this looting system is the introduction of saves where you'll be able to store a lot of the loot that you collect. Of course we're not exactly sure of the details of how this will be implemented, but it will definitely be a cool addition to the DMZ if added. A mechanic in the game mode that could be interesting and is also a rumour is the idea of an actual medical system within the DMZ rather than automatic health regeneration. This brings players back to the original Call of Duty where you're forced to manually heal. This could change encounters in this mode making things more cautious rather than running and gunning which we know most COD players enjoy doing. The DMZ may also be a point of interest to solo players as it's speculated that rather than squadding up in teams and duels, trios and quads like in Battle Royale, there won't be a separate queuing system and instead everyone will join the same game opting to squad up with players in game but again you'd have to be careful here because people can stab you in the back. Another follow on point from this is that solo players could have dedicated missions or objectives to complete for only them which makes the game more engaging and rewarding if you don't have teammates. Something which could be explored in the DMZ is the idea of having control over how many bots there actually are in a game which could extend into things like custom matches or maybe even private maps where players have a bit more control over the environment around them. Finally, another addition we can likely expect is a variety of bots rather than just the same type of AI in every game. We may see for example juggernauts and we've seen similar in the current spec ops mode so I wouldn't be surprised if we find the same in the DMZ. So there you have it, that is 10 things that you can expect from the upcoming DMZ mode. Let me know what you think about DMZ in the comments, do you think it will be better or worse? than the standard Warzone experience and if you've made it this far remember to like the video and help us out and that's it thank you very much for watching.